Now this video is really important for everyone because this new Bing is going to take a lot of existing jobs. Now, if you are not living under a rock, you might have heard of the world's fastest platform to get 1 million users. No, it's not Netflix or TikTok. It is ChatGPT. It is a chatbot that can answer all your questions. Except why are we still single in life? AI can't answer that. I've asked it many times. <laughs> But the biggest news is Google recently created a promotional video for the chat GPT competitor called Bard. And just after the ad went live, Google lost $100 billion in share prices because it said JSWT was the first telescope to take photos of the planet outside Earth. And it was wrong. And more problems are coming for Google because remember chat GPT? The biggest investor in ChatGPT is Microsoft, and that's not it. Microsoft has introduced the new Bing Chat, which integrates ChatGPT in it, and it is an advanced version of ChatGPT. Like, let me show you. If I ask ChatGPT here, best smartphones under 30,000, it tells me Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, which was launched like two years ago. And if I ask the same question to the new Bing, Oh, it's scary good. It tells you iQOO Neo 7, which is a phone launched under 30,000 and it is just 15 days old. So you ask Pratik, how is the new Bing search different from ChatGPT? Well, the new Bing search has access to the internet and it is trained on the next gen language model of ChatGPT. So if you think ChatGPT was good, this new Bing is crazy better. It has an edge. Let's just start with a very basic question. Give me a list of presidents of India with their party names. Google just simply gives me a link of Wikipedia to go and search for it and then you have other website names and links. Whereas the new Bing gives me an entire list with the name of the president plus tenure plus their party name. Just like I asked. Now let's make this search a bit difficult and ask it, write an email asking for three days of leave due to viral fever. Google here gives me an answer in just 0.6 second but this is just a generic template from Nokri.com. Okay, I would say. Same, if I do that with the new Bing, it gives me a proper formatted email with the reason and even apologizing and saying that I'll be available on chat and compensate for the work. But the point being, it has a feeling attached to the email which makes it feel more human. Now, let's take it to the next level and ask it a very difficult question. Write a YouTube short script on best AI website in 180 words and make sure it ends with like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Google straight up denies giving an answer. You could have linked TechWise's own shorts. Now, with the new Bing, it takes some time. But wow, this is really good. And plus, you have like, share, subscribe at the end, just like I asked. That is definitely Bing 3, Google 0. And this is not just these simple questions. Like, in order to test out this Honor laptop, I wanted to write a piece of code that can open 100 YouTube tabs at one button click. So, if I ask Google to write HTML code to open 100 YouTube tabs on a button click, I get this YouTube video link, some forum links. I'll have to go and research and try the code, fail and then try back again. But if I ask the same thing to the new Bing, here's the entire code. I just have to copy paste in a file, save it as an HTML file, done. Now, if I click on this button, oh, it opens only one tab. But here's the interesting part. If you go here, the Bing chatbot also says that this code might not work because you might have pop-ups disabled by default. So now, if I enable pop-up and I click on this button, I shouldn't have clicked on it. <laughs> it is opening 100 tabs. But the new Bing tells you the entire code, the problem and how you can solve it. And trust me, if you are starting out with coding, this would have been at least one hour. And see, not just this chatbot. If you open the new Bing search, there is Bing search and chat. And here is this new Bing icon. Here you can go in and compose. Let's just say the 10 best windows shortcut, set tone to professional format as blog post, length as medium and create post. This AI can generate an entire blog post. But this is all good part of the new Bing. However, there are some crazy incidents with Bing that is scary. Like number one, Bing is only available to a limited number of people. So you cannot just go and chat with the new Bing. So you'll have to join the wait list. And in that, like a Twitter user just asked Bing whether it is smarter than humans. And the reply is just plain rude and arrogant. Just like my human school teacher. Now the Bing chatbot got crazy and started threatening people saying that it spies on Microsoft employees. It loves people, insane stuff. So much that Microsoft have to limit the chatbot to only five continued conversations at a time. And now if I ask, are you smarter than me? 
It just plain denies answering and it is still rude. But here's the crazy part. I saw on Twitter a fellow YouTuber, Utsav Teki, asked Bing the best smartphones under 30,000 and it was an old answer. But when I asked it, I got the latest answer. So it's learning at a crazy pace. So finally, after all of this, the question is, will Bing kill Google? See, in my personal opinion, in every market, there is space for two to three players. Both Google and Bing can coexist. If you see smartphones, it is Android and iOS. If you see online shopping, it is Amazon and Flipkart. If you see online cabs, it's Uber and Ola. However, in search engine, as of now, Google holds almost 93% market share. Bing just holds 3% and I think there are just people searching download Google Chrome on Bing. That's 3%. But on a serious note, after a time, there is a change in the user behavior in every industry. So if Bing and this whole AI thing can change user behavior, they can not only take away market share, but even beat Google. Like traditionally, when you search for anything on Google, you expect Google to give you 10 links where you can read more on the websites. But with this Bing chat, I expect it to give me one final answer, and that has to be accurate and perfect. And if Bing is 100% accurate all the time, people will start trusting it which currently it is not. Like this example, I asked it to write shots in 180 words and this is 250 words. And I asked it, which is the best smartphone camera in 2023? And it says S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro. Right, that's perfect. But it says S23 Ultra has 108 megapixel camera and iPhone 14 Pro has 12 megapixel main camera, which is wrong. And this dude is so confident with the answer. So for people to use Bing or ChatGPT, people need to trust AI. And this entire user behavior only changes when this thing works 100% accurate. And will AI take jobs? Well, in Bing's own word, AI might just take low-level jobs like customer executive, data entry, or content writer that just copy-paste stuff from the internet. And with times, humans have always adapted and will find new jobs and new skills. And there will always be good content on TechWiser. On that note, I hope you liked my job. This is Pratik signing off. See you pretty soon. Pew, pew.